Dodson. Dodson. We've got Dodson here. Nobody cares. Nice hat. You're trying to look like a secret agent. This winter, return of Prime Vocal. Oh. Today I want to do a review on Prime Vocal. Uh, I was lucky enough to get Sonable Audio to send me a copy of Prime Vocal. It's used as a plugin ARA plugin rather than just a normal plugin. So the way you activate that in Studio One at least is go to Event FX, go down to your Prime Vocal, select that. And what will normally happen in this situation is it will read through the vocal, go through it and scan all the vocal and do its analysis on the vocal. This is already a mixed song. So I want to give you guys an idea of if you extracted a vocal, maybe using software to extract the vocal and give you that an example so that you could maybe remix and use it like that. So I'm trying to get the same kind of concepts on that. So let's have a listen to see what this is capable of doing on the vocal. We'll go to a section here, uh, have a listen to this. Walking in like that, it took my side view. Okay, so let's apply some of the effects here. Noise reduction, noise or room reduction and vocal cleanup and see what that's capable of doing. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to zero and then I'll just slowly apply. And as you can see here inside of the plugin, I guess you wanna call it ARA plugin, it gives you a visual example of how much it's actually doing. So you can see here the pink effect here, the room reduction, it's then reducing that as you apply it. And also the same with cleanup, you can see that as a visual effect there. That is kind of neat that you can see what it's actually doing. Um, the spectral side of it, so you've got spectral balance and then you've got dynamics. It Spectral balance wise, it's kind of getting just a spectral analysis of the vocal itself and trying to balance that. The dynamic side of it, it's obviously compressing and reducing the dynamics in the vocal as well. So you can see visually it's doing that change in the vocal. So that's one thing that's kind of neat to be able to see that as well. So let's have a listen to this. Uh, we'll see what this sounds like as it goes through. Walking in like that, it took my side view. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you in my mind erase? Okay, so what I'm hearing there is most of the room has been reduced. There's still some delay, and I don't think it's going to ever be able to get rid of that because the delay is just part of the vocal itself and the way it's been mixed into it. Um, but it definitely does a pretty good job of removing the room. So you could use this for a remixed uh, vocal more than likely into a different beat. Uh, let's have a listen to this cleanup. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you in my mind erase. That's pretty cool. Now let's see what the compression sounds like with and, with and without it and spectral balance as well. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you in my mind erase. Now have a listen to compression. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you in my mind erase. What I would say is as far as this plugin, it does a fairly good job at removing the exterior sounds that might impact a vocal. The other part that I do like is it kind of shows you if you press this difference button, it'll show you the difference or play it to you. Let's have a listen. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you? And we'll bypass. Walking in like that, it took my side view. What look at you? My mind erase. Yeah, I think it's doing a pretty good job there. Uh, I like this part here where it allows you to automate as well if you wanted to. I don't think I would in this scenario, but. It gives you the ability to automate where you want this. So you can set this uh, automation to be however you need it. So let's just go to room reduction. We'll get some automation on here. So if you double click, you can then automate dot points as to where you want it to be. So for example, each part of the vocal, you could automate it. Walking in like that, it took my side view. 
Now, in that situation, you probably wouldn't do it, but it does give you the ability to automate it. For example, if there's some part that you don't want to fully affect with that, you can then automate the room reduction, which is very useful uh, as far as the tool is concerned. The same with everything. So everything can be automated here. You've got spectral balance and you've got the dynamics as well. And the other thing you can do as well is the amount of compression. You can change how strong it is. So strong, none, soft, and the leveling strong, you know, none and soft. Uh, the same with the balance here for the spectral balance. You've got profiles to be low, spectral speech high, and speech low. And then the color is, you know, obviously bright, warm, and neutral. And the same here, you can change this to DSing, uh, strong, deep plosive, strong, all that sort of stuff. Again, in here, you've got control over the actual spectrum. So you can change the highs, the lows, and the mids, all that sort of stuff there. And the same with the the uh, noise reduction so gives you a lot of control over this for me it's doing a pretty good job i'd say that it's going to be very difficult to get vocals that are perfect every single time in any room um, unless you're in a professional studio but if you're in that scenario where you just can't get the perfect take and you want to get your cleaned up vocals this is probably going to be a really good option as far as the uh the processing and the ability for what it can do. The other thing though, if you don't have support in said doors, you have the ability to use this as a standalone. So if you pull out the vocal from the session, put it into the standalone plugin, uh, then you can do that as well. Anyway, I thought I'd bring this to your attention, something to check out. Check out Prime Vocal, it's uh, by Sonable Audio. And if you like this kind of thing, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one.